Hello, I'm Brittany and I would like to share my evening skincare routine. I have type 1 rosacea and normal to dry, very dehydrated skin. So the issues I wish to target are redness, hyperpigmentation and making sure my skin stays hydrated. So to begin, I like to use my trusty Clorans eye makeup remover. And this guy is the only makeup remover I found that doesn't dry out my eyes, irritate my skin, or leave an oily film on my eyes as well. I've tried Bioderma and that one just dried my eyes out and I found I needed to use quite a few pads and quite a lot of solution to get any result. The next product I like to use is this Lirac Micellar Water. It has really nice slip to it. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I tried it. It is very nourishing. It gets rid of makeup really efficiently and it feels soothing and cooling on the skin. Interestingly, it does have glycolic, malic and lactic acid in there, but it doesn't feel like it's doing any exfoliating or anything like that. It does have a delicate scent, but it's not at all overpowering. I find it really a pleasure to use. And it does come in a large 400 ml bottle, so that's also a big plus. Following this, I like to take the Sisley Paris Triple Oil Balm Makeup Remover and Cleanser for face and eyes. This product is a delight to use. It ticks all the boxes for me for a cleansing balm. It has a gorgeous succulent texture. It has a very, very inoffensive, delicate scent, and it emulsifies into a nice cleansing milk. I take a long time to massage the cleanser into my skin. I usually put on my favorite song and I'll listen to the whole song as I'm massaging it into my skin. I find it incredibly relaxing. I've noticed that the longer I take in my routine, the better my skin is. So if I rush through the steps using the same products, my skin isn't going to be as good. When I really take the time to massage the cleanser in, I really notice a good payoff. And with the Sisley Cleansing Balm, I really feel like I could just massage it in forever. It really is a delight to use. Now, I usually do all of this at the sink and then I'll go into the shower and rinse it off. I don't use a flannel. I used to with past cleansing balms because I really felt I needed to use it to get everything off. But with the Sisley, I find that's not necessary. So it just washes off very easily and my skin is left feeling so nice, just really clean and not at all stripped. Now you'll notice as I'm cleansing that I didn't go over my lips completely. This is because in the shower I like to use my favorite scrub, the French Girl Rose Lip Polish. This is a really nice scrub and all of the makeup comes off. Following this, I will either go in alone with the cleansing lotion but I decided that I would like an exfoliation, so I decided to use the Limit Cleansing Lotion with the Oil Exfoliator. And this is a dream combination. It is so lovely to use. I had the pleasure of having a complimentary Limit facial, and the facialist advised me that combining the cleansing lotion with the oil exfoliator is a possible combo. And it really is a pleasure to use, like the scent, the texture, and my skin is just left feeling so smooth. After using either the cleansing lotion or the oil exfoliator or both of them together, I'm not rushing to put a cream on my skin or get something to make my skin feel really hydrated. Next, I like to tone and I usually use P50 in the mornings. If I didn't use P50 in the morning, I would go in with this at night. However, um, since I did a physical exfoliation, I go in with the tonic. I really love this tonic. It is the one toner I've used that has a bit of slip to it. A little bit does go a long way. That said, I find before you know it, the bottle is over half empty. I like to use this as it resets the pH of your skin, so then any products you apply following this are more effective. So I pour some drops onto a cotton pad, and then just apply it to my skin. And I have noticed a difference in the reduction of my redness since using this product. Following my toner, I like to use a mist. Right now I'm using the one by Venn. It is the Symbiotic Defense Mist. 
This is really nice. It contains 80% probiotics, 2% niacinamide, glutathione, and arginine. This has a very spa-like scent. I really like the mister on this. It's not too strong, not too weak, and it just feels really refreshing to use. I really enjoy using this product. I find it incredibly calming and soothing. And since one of my issues is redness, I do love to use this to combat that as well. After misting, I then go in with the La Mer Treatment Lotion. At first when I got this, I, would, I just thought it was this, you know, you run of the mill hydrating serum. But when I got my facial, the facialist assured me, no, no, it's a treatment. So similarly to the tonic, it prepares your skin for future product, except this actually treats your skin at the same time. It's infused with the La Mer Miracle Broth, as is the tonic, but this has a much more hydrating texture, what you would expect from a hydrating serum. I only need a couple of drops for my whole face, and following misting, my skin is just slightly damp. So then I just take two drops, warm it up in my hands, and pat it into my skin. Moving on to what might be my favorite product in the entire routine is the Concentrate by La Mer. I find it tackles everything. It tackles my redness, it tackles hyperpigmentation. It also leaves my skin feeling quite hydrated due to its absolutely divine texture. It just feels like velvet on the skin. I've noticed ever since I've started using it, my skin is significantly less red. It's less irritated, less reactive, and it really is just my favorite skincare product at the moment. So I'll use the spatula applicator and then apply that to my skin. Next, I use the eye cream by Oromobisa. This is their gold eye lift. And just like the Clorance eye makeup remover, this does not irritate my eyes at all. It has just the right amount of thickness, so it's not too thick and not too thin. It has a very silky texture and it sinks in. So it's not one of those eye creams that you can still feel like around your eyes, it, it actually sinks in. So it's really nice for daytime use as well. So I do use this also in the mornings. So I just take a little bit onto my ring fingers and gently apply it, just circulating around my eyes. And I feel like I could do this for quite a while due to the texture. And after I stop massaging that area, it does sink into the skin. Now for my final step is one of my favorite combinations, the original Creme de la Mer with a drop of their Renewal Oil. You only need a little bit. That's the thing with La Mer. A little goes a very long way. And in fact, using less does have a higher payoff on your skin, I find. For example, with the treatment lotion, I was using way too much in the beginning, like four drops, way too much. Two is enough. And it was the same with the oil. I was way too enthusiastic with that in the beginning. One drop, two drops maximum, and you're good. If you're combining it with the cream. Now I did start off with the cream by itself and don't get me wrong, that is lovely. But combining it with the oil, oof, it takes you to another place. It is just absolutely divine. It gives the original cream more slip, but it doesn't make it like the soft cream. The soft cream is an entirely different texture altogether. So I take a tiny bit of the cream, one drop of the oil. After I do this, I warm it up in my hands to the point that it's translucent. I feel like I could pat it into my skin forever. Like it really just a little goes a long way. And my skin feels so nice. It feels so plump, so hydrated, so calmed, so soothed. I'm tackling all the issues I want to tackle. Even though it is a thick cream, it doesn't transfer to my pillowcase or anything like that. So it does sink in. Um, I have used other balms and creams and oils and I hate that feeling of going to bed and my pillow is like sticking to my face. I just can't stand that. I mean, who can? And for my final step, I then go in with the Biologique Recherche Bio Kiss. This is my favorite lip balm. It has such a sumptuous texture. It's just so luscious on the lips, but it does sink in. It doesn't just sit on top. So I find it is a really good daily treatment. I also like to use it before I apply my makeup. So it's an all-rounder for me. So that concludes my skincare routine featuring mainly La Mer. It really agrees with my skin. And when I take care of my skin, I feel better about myself. And it's something that I look forward to every morning and every evening. 
So if I can give myself that slice of time every day where I feel good in my skin, then to me that's worth the investment. I would love to know what brands you like and what you use for your skin, what do you find helpful, do you use any of these products, I would really love to know. The main reason I'm creating this channel is to connect with other people who use the same products and have the same interests, so I'd love if you dropped a comment. Otherwise, take care and I will chat with you in my next video. Bye.